All right, folks, we, we only have a couple actual candidates for office that are going to be speaking, and we wanted to focus a little bit this year on some of the stuff at the federal level, too. So one of our candidates here is running for the 2nd District Connecticut Congressional, or excuse me, Connecticut, excuse me, candidate for 2nd District for U.S. Congress. Please help me welcome Larry Hopkins Kavanaugh. Thank you. Thank you, CCDL, for your relentless fight to protect us against criminal prosecution and confiscation of our firearms, for standing strong to protect liberties that law-abiding citizens have enjoyed in the state of Connecticut for hundreds of years. I am honored and blessed to share this historic day with all of you today because this is the day those rattlesnakes will sound their warnings in voices that will be heard loud and clear. Do not tread on me. No. My name is Lori Hopkins Kavanaugh, and with your help, I am going to defeat Joe Courtney and take his seat. Yes. And I will better serve the liberty-loving people in the 64 towns and cities in the 2nd Congressional District. I am committed to restoring, preserving, upholding, and protecting our Second Amendment rights to keep and bear arms. It is comforting to know that we stand here together today in one of the safest places in all of Connecticut because we stand strong and steadfast among gun-carrying, freedom-loving, law-abiding Americans. In preparing this speech, I considered many options. But since I am known to have a set of brass ovaries, here it goes. When it comes to the Second Amendment, I am Diane Feinstein's foe. I am Nancy Pelosi's nemesis. The President's punishment. And Joe Courtney's nightmare. I am a proud member of the Niantic Sportsman's Club. Where are you? <laughs> and as sure as I'm breathing today, that's the safest place in the country because gun-carrying zones, not gun-free zones, are the safest places in the country. <laughs> President Obama rearm our military bases and stop and stop the preventable slaughter. It is naive to believe that lawmakers who vote for more anti-gun legislation mean well or have our safety at heart. The progressives in this country who attack our constitutional freedoms and liberties are anything but dim-witted do-gooders living in la-la land. Make no mistake, progressives want to ban guns and they will relentlessly pursue that goal one law at a time, one executive order at a time, one regulation at a time, until we are disarmed. The writing is on the wall and must be taken seriously because we are running out of time. They will take away choice after choice until there is no choice. No one can protect your rights except you. The Constitution is supposed, not supposed to protect us. It is, after all, simply words on a page. We are supposed to protect it. If you are not registered to vote and do not actively engage your friends, neighbors, and relatives to vote this November, you are giving away your right and with them, all of our rights. Self-defense is an inalienable right that God gave us and no government can take away. 
From one peaceable citizen to the thousands of others here today, I will fight beside you, and as your Congresswoman, I will defend that right. Now, to all of the men standing here today, know that you are the brave and the strong. Heroes walk among us. But just for a moment, please allow me to speak directly to the women in this crowd today. As a woman, as a mother, as a protector, I will not relinquish my right to self-defense and to the right to defend my loved ones and my home with a firearm. I stand for abused women who fear, who live in fear of an ex-husband or ex-boyfriend. I stand for the isolated woman walking to her car at night in a dark parking lot or returning home to an empty apartment. I stand for vulnerable women who is stalked by a co-worker or a customer. I stand for the woman who must protect her family and home against an intruder. I stand for the woman who simply wants to enjoy a quiet early morning jog in the park. Self-defense with a firearm of our choice, with the magazine capacity that we choose, is our right. The right to equal the battlefield and survive. The right to feel safe, knowing that every day we have a fighting chance of not becoming a statistic of rape, murder, kidnapping, or assault. I am Lori Hopkins Cavanaugh, and our crosshairs are set on a seat in Congress occupied by Joe Courtney. Courtney is against reciprocity. He is against recreation use of firearms on federal land. He is against a woman's right to self-defense. Courtney is Nancy Pelosi's pet, Obama's obedient servant, and Feinstein's friend. Courtney is a progressive lawmaker who said last week, that in the wake of the Newtown shooting, he cannot support the Respecting States' Right and Concealed Carry Reciprocity Act. Instead, he will work on the shortcomings of current background checks and more regulations to stop those seeking gun and concealed carry permits. Furthermore, Courtney said he would expand the scope of data for convictions of misdemeanors. He is hoping for widespread agreement. The way to show Joe that we do not agree is to vote him out of office in November. Yep. Help send me to DC. I am Lori Hopkins Cavanaugh, the Congresswoman with Brass Ovaries. And I'm looking out for 2A. Like me on Facebook and visit me at LoriForCongress.com. And I am so thankful for your listening to me today. God bless you all.